Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome to your month of June of 2024 spiritual advice reading. I'm Josie Kay, your spiritual cheerleader, and this is the Lenormand Deck by Cheryl Marchetti. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Taurus needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the month of June of 2024. All right, so right at the beginning of June, we actually have a, a conversation in the mind of this Taurus, a conversation with a specific person. But this Taurus in their thoughts position has the fox energy. So there is uh, some form of fear as to whether someone else can be trusted. There's actually kind of this energy of I'm going away from a conversation with a specific person. Now, in the relationship sector, we have uh, the house energy. So there are changes maybe in the area of home and family taking place for this particular Taurus. Thinking about going away into a new direction in the area of home or location, or just going away from a conversation with someone that you're having from within the home. Now, in the creative aspects position, beautiful, we have the four-leaf clover energy. So Spirit is telling this Taurus that whatever you are creating, whether this has to do with creativity, finance, career, Spirit is guiding you into the direction of a path that is blessed and is meant to be. So in the actions position, Spirit's offering up this beautiful magical magnifying glass, golden magnifying glass, and it's saying take action to wait for communication with a specific person because there is a path that is blessed that may require a change in the area of home, maybe working from home, um, on the home, moving home, all these wonderful things. Yeah, look at emotionally, there's this a realization closer to the third week of June, where someone is thinking about traveling into the, a new direction uh, of this conversation with a specific person. So Spirit's saying, look closely at conversations here, for there will be one with a specific person that is going to be uh, lead you into the direction of a path that is blessed. Again, with the ship, this could involve moving. Uh, physically or uh, metaphorically into the direction of a new home or location, a path or person or situation that is blessed. So subconsciously, we have the stork energy, this aha moment. Uh, there could be a project idea, connection, circumstance, situation where someone realizes uh, that uh, your plans are unfolding. Okay, this could also represent greater abundance in money taking place in the area of a conversation with someone here. If you're thinking about making a change in the area of home, it's this unexpected money that's going to help for you to make changes to the home or move to a new and better home. Uh, so this could be what's coming to mind in the month of June for Tauruses. Now in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the polar bear energy. Now this could be that uh, we have a Taurus that is opening their heart to a conversation with someone here, whereby uh, you are thinking about maybe moving in together, um, buying a home together. Uh, but uh, this could also be someone who is in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, secure, supervisor, manager, CEO, and and so on. This could be, I am creating something from within the home. I'm connecting with others and I'm recognizing that uh, this is the path. This is my soul's purpose. All right. So in the inner strengths position, spirit is giving the collective Tauruses the strength of the birds energy to get out and communicate via community, society, social media, technology. Look closely and watch for the signs in the actions position because there's going to come a conversation with a specific person whereby you recognize that that is the path that spirit's talking about. That is the direction that is blessed. Now, in a three-card summary, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so we have kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, invitations coming in towards a particular Taurus here, uh, and this beautiful magical golden bridge. So this is Spirit helping Taurus to recognize the path by which Spirit is trying to guide you. Uh, recognizing kind words, messages, offers opportunities, invitations from others. Trying to decipher who should or should not be trusted. 
uh, thinking about new beginnings, home, family, children. Uh, there could be someone who's connecting with another person that is single here and you're thinking about sweeping away from them because you're fearing they can't be trusted and you don't want to bring them around your children, home and family. But eventually there's going to come a conversation, an aha moment where you recognize a connection or situation that is indeed blessed. Yeah, so we have a uh, feminine Taurus here who's kind of sitting back, waiting, watching, looking uh, at the mountain. Now, this could be someone or something at a distance, or this could just be obstacles and challenges. So the message with the mountain energy is to not look at the path ahead as long and difficult, but as an exciting adventure. I'm going through the mountain, uh, trying different avenues, knowing that I know that eventually there is going to be a blessing on the other side. So spirit, same for those who are hopeful. There are going to come opportunities to meet up, connect, communicate, negotiate, and yes, yeah, look at the feminine's going from this patient energy into this very passionate energy because of some form of wish fulfillment. Ah, so for some Tauruses in the month of June. Uh, we do have uh, this beautiful golden compass. So Spirit's saying, again, watch for the signs for eventually there is going to be a path that is blessed with the four-leaf clover energy. Uh, it has to do maybe with a business or organization or the moving into the direction of a more beautiful home. Yeah, so whatever you are working on or towards or whoever you are hoping to connect with at some point here in June, Taurus Spirit saying trust that all is happening in a very divinely timed way. Uh, so if you are uh, connecting with someone that you fear is walking in their shadow energies of lies and deception, you're going to know that you know that uh, because you've been there and done that. Yeah, but Spirit's saying still, take a chance. Even though you're confused or conflicted, take a chance to continue to seek out connections with others. Remember, we have the inner strengths position with the community card in the inner, uh, okay, inner strengths position. Yeah, uh, Spirit's trying to bring the Taurus into this beautiful sun energy of happiness, of feeling like a kid again. Um, but they are feeling burdened because they can't, they fear they can't trust an opportunity or situation. But again, something's going to come because this Taurus is transitioning to a greater path of accomplishments. Uh, that strength of bringing things or people to an end uh, with the scythe energy is uh, building. It's like as I let go of who or what doesn't serve me, I know that I know that right around the corner, there's an opportunity that will. Okay, so we have a masculine, again, who may be at a distance, uh, maybe acting a bit distant, but we do have communications, conversations, or paperwork unfolding here. Uh, again, I'm getting around, could be the second or third week of June for some Tauruses. So someone's going to be looking at a connection, trying to decipher, is this the soulmate type connection I was meant to go into the direction of? There's still a little confusion here with the maze energy, I think, from the by the end of the month. Because we have the magnifying glass still communicating, waiting on communication with a specific person, feeling a bit confused. But we do have the soulmate card. So we have money. Um, some may be conflicted about the direction regarding money, and that's why Spirit's saying continue to communicate. There's going to come a conversation with a specific person where there's going to be this greater abundance, money, or pay. In other cases, yeah, we have singles who are hoping for a commitment uh, partnership, uh, but are feeling these energies of anxiety. So Spirit is saying as you research all opportunities in the month of June, we're going to help you with the tree energy to remain grounded, to continue to set and meet your personal goals until this aha moment arrives. So it's a month of looking closely at conversations with others, trusting that eventually you're going to be traveling into the direction of a specific person or a situation that is blessed. So see, someone was feeling stuck or trapped in their circumstances, but there's that aha moment. So it could be for some closer to the third or fourth week of June, uh, but look at wisdom is coming in. Exciting wisdom and knowledge that's going to open up a new doorway, uh, a new direction, offer, opportunity. Clarity is coming by the end of the month. That spirit heard your wishes with the wishing well energy and has indeed guided you into the direction of a masculine here who is offering stability and security. 
Ooh. So professionally or personally, spirit's trying to guide the collective Aries, whether this um, Aries. Whoa. Okay. Could be an Aries that you're connecting with. But a masculine who's very passionate about the work that they do. They're very serious about what they want. Uh, it is a masculine here who's coming in or will be receiving the beautiful anchor energy of stability and security. So kind words and messages are going to come and go. And eventually, uh, after some research here, there's going to come the awareness of the Golden Bridge as to who you should go into the direction of. Oh my, this is getting interesting. So I think I'm going to confirm and clarify with the uh, Gateway to the Divine Tarot deck. All right, so dear Lord Spirit, guides and angels, please uh, confirm and clarify the messages we have pre previously discussed in this circle spread for the month of June for Tauruses. Please provide any astrological signs and or elements of who by which Taurus should be aware of. Yeah, so if somebody's holding back uh, financially or emotionally, uh, that could be why this Taurus is saying, you know what, they're not opening up through these conversations. Therefore, I'm kind of going to sneak away from that situation. I know that I know that the Queen of Cups energy is a very spirit, uh, intuitive energy, pardon me, spiritual and intuitive, uh, that I will notice signs and synchronicities as I connect with another or others and be able to decipher the path that is blessed, the person, the situation whereby spirit is trying to guide me. So in the relationship sector, we have the strength card. Maybe someone here is connecting with a Leo thinking about making a change in the area of home or family. Uh, or there's this strength that spirit is offering as you connect with other people and uh, make a change regarding home. Okay, so in the creative uh, aspects position, there's just a message to wait and prepare, take some time to rest. Uh, and uh, by the third week from now, it may just feel like, wow, I put a lot of energy into a situation and now I'm just waiting uh, to see what's on offer so that I can uh, come out of this in-between moment of confusion. So Spirit's saying, trust that there is a path that is blessed. Make sure you take time to rest, uh, observe in the actions position in the month of June until you recognize the Three of Cups some form of happiness, uh, a reason to almost celebrate. Like I almost feel like this is I'm celebrating with myself because I hung in there and now I'm recognizing uh, the direction I should go. I am now going forward emotionally and I'm freeing myself from feeling stuck or trapped with the Eight of Swords energy, right? The Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. We are never stuck or trapped. We just move on to the next person, place, circumstance, situation until we recognize the one whereby spirit is trying to guide us. So spirit is actually trying to free the collective Tauruses from these energies of sadness, worry, fear, and concern of whether or not someone can be trusted. Spirit is giving this Taurus a very intuitive energy and is helping the Taurus to recognize uh, after just kind of waiting and observing uh, that there is a path that is blessed, uh, some form of excitement. Yeah, so there is going to come maybe a, a conversation between two here. Um, and uh, you're trying to make a decision about which one is blessed. Or there's this aha moment of greater pay and abundance, whereby then with the Six of Swords, uh, there, this Taurus can leave these worries, fears, and concerns behind. So yeah, there could be someone in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure, who comes forward and there's this conversation that, and a realization that the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor, that this is indeed the conversation spirit was talking about. And now I know the direction I am headed towards because spirit's telling me that I will know that I know that the path that spirit's saying is blessed. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, um, yeah, it's through communications with another or others via community society, social media technology, where there is going to be a conversation with a particular masculine, king of wands energy, again, Sag Aries or Leo, we had Leo in the relationship sector, but someone who is uh, maybe in a leadership position here who uh, through a conversation eventually, and there's coming a realization um, 
that that is the direction you should go. So there's also this inner strength energy of the King of Swords for you to continue to set and meet goals like a well-oiled machine, trusting that if one person's situation is closed off, that's not the right one. But that spirit is trying to free you and move you forward into the direction of a path that you're going to want to celebrate. So if that's personal or professional, that's what spirit's helping you to manifest at this time. In a three card summary, we have the eight of coins, the moon and the devil, oh my. All right, so we have someone here researching uh, an area of money, things of the material, home, car, and so on. Could be a car, a new car, um, which means now would be a good time to do that. Uh, you could find the right price with the Storks energy, uh, uh, the right connection, the right situation, and uh, a car that you're uh, going to be very happy with, car, truck, whatever. Um, this is also, I'm researching er the area of money or things of the material like home, and I'm recognizing with the major arcana, the chariot, that I am traveling beyond certain obstacles and challenges into the direction of success. So here comes some really good news, or again, communication with fire, Sag, Aries, or Leo, where there is some form of commitment, partnership, contract that comes to mind. Spirit saying remain balanced. Uh, if this is personal, make sure there's equal give and take. If there isn't, free yourself from any fantasy and illusion energies that could weigh heavy upon you and move forward. Look at this. We've got someone in a leadership position with the King of Coins energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, um, and the awareness of a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money. Again, I'm feeling third, second to third week into June. Yes, we have a very passionate Feminine Taurus energy with the Queen of Wands, setting and meeting goals day to day excitedly, knowing that you know that eventually with the world energy, this whole process is going to come full circle, that a portal is going to open up when it comes to the Emperor, Aries type energy. Uh, someone is slowly but surely heading your way uh, where you're going to feel like the sun, very happy and fulfilled and joyful and uh, ready to make a very passionate decision. Now, for some, uh, there could, again, be a fiery energy, Sag, Aries, or Leo, who shows up very quickly, unexpectedly, but in a way they're closed off. So Spirit's saying, give that some time. Someone may want a new path with someone, but there could be a third-party situation um, that they're not talking about. Oh, yeah, when I said that, it's like I'm overcoming this situation because I'm recognizing the sneaky energy of the Seven of Swords. So if one person's circumstance situation isn't for you, spirit saying don't give up, have hope. We have the major arcana of the moon. So even though you cannot see clearly now the beautiful things that are about to unfold, spirit is sending in someone that you can trust. Okay, uh, whether it's water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I don't feel that, but someone who has grown and evolved spiritually, uh, someone um, who's kind. Okay, so we have the high priestess. This is, I am going to wait uh, three weeks into June and just continue to plant these seeds, connect with people until I decipher and realize the path that is blessed, which is the full energy. I will not make any clear decisions until I know that I know the path that spirit is talking about. So at some point with the full energy, spirit is saying at some point, after taking time to rest and reflect, there's going to be this awareness that spirit has helped for you to manifest this new path direction or connection. So hang in there with the hanging man energy, wait it out. Eventually for many Tauruses, there's going to come this realization of greater money and abundance and spirit saying with the nine of pentacles, uh, take yourself out, buy yourself a treat. Success and victories coming in. Yes, watch out for the magician. Someone's going to be manipulative or dishonest. And that's what that fox energy in the thoughts position is about. That's why spirit's saying follow your intuition. You are not stuck or trapped in a particular circumstance, situation, or communication. We're going to help you to leave those worries behind and instead go into the direction of an aha moment. This is the path that is blessed. So eventually there is going to be um, a financial offer, opportunity, sale of a home, something you've been working towards. Others are going to work with you. And Spirit saying when the opportunity comes with the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, say yes.
Yes, good news coming in for Tauruses in the area of the Ace of Pentacles. A gift from the universe in the form of a sale, uh, some form of unexpected or just expected income. Uh, a path that's going to grow and prosper for the long term. So you may be feeling as though your cup is empty, but Spirit's saying what's on its way is the Six of Wands, attention, recognition, and success. Yeah, there's indecision about a playful connection, but Spirit's saying you will have the strength to be able to get to the truth of a situation and bring it to an end. Someone's waiting on a soulmate connection. There you are in your element, right? Remain faithful, even though you're conflicted about what action steps you're supposed to take. Because at some point, we have another ace in the form of the ace of wands. Home, family, business, passion, excitement. Uh, you're going to recognize that your efforts have paid off and that you are now going into the direction of peace, joy, and contentment. So there's celebration because of an awareness that the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor. Yeah, someone's conflicted about another person here, but Spirit's helping with the judgment card for you to make the highest, best decision for at some point in a beautiful offers coming in with the page of cups and it's going to feel as though it's like wish fulfillment or your ship but spirit's saying it's because you've been this beautiful uh, empress you have grown and evolved and now you have given birth or with spirit's assistance spirit's helping you to give birth to that which you are passionate about yeah, someone's not able to sleep at night because of the devil energy. Could be a Capricorn energy. Uh, or uh, there's this realization, again, with the Fox energy, uh, that someone just feels off. And Spirit's saying, don't keep yourself up at night over it with the Nine of Swords. Trust that eventually we're going to send in an unexpected wish. Wow. A call to action. The realization that you worked really hard, you didn't give up, and now you're this beautiful king, queen of coins energy, stable, secure, with beautiful surroundings. Yeah, money and abundance is going to free you from energies of heartache, worry, and concern. Justice is going to turn in your favor, or someone's going to hope for marriage, but eventually realize uh, that the, someone's not the right one. Okay, so here, here comes exciting wish fulfillment happily ever after that's what this blessed path is about uh the ability to open up your heart once again because there's this awareness that the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor in some way yes and they're going back to the seven of pentacles again so those who have worked really hard uh you are going to eventually recognize a blessed opportunity you're going to feel like the uh, wheel of fortune has indeed turned in your favor and you're going to want to celebrate the fact that a new doorway has opened in the area of money, home, investments, and so on. All right, so I'm going to close this reading with the Archangel Michael Sword of Light deck. Closing message, please, regarding the circle spread for the collective Tauruses in the month of June of 2024. Yep, so just like they're saying in the thoughts position with the Queen of Cups energy, recognize the sign. Spirit's trying to guide the collective Tauruses to connect with the right connection who will help to guide them into the direction of a path of success. The angels are sending you messages in the month of June Tauruses, but you may feel too distracted to notice. So stay alert and remain open to divine guidance because Spirit's saying you, as you look closely at two or three different options or by the second or third week of June, uh, you are going to recognize that Spirit has guided you in a divine way. So when an offer or opportunity or connection comes in, you get to decide if you want to manifest it or not. But Spirit is saying, do not settle for less. Do not give up at this time. Why? Because just like the rest of the collective, your vibration is rising. Spirit is guiding you into the direction of a beautiful and solid foundation. Now is a great time of spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. So trust that the angels are guiding you at this time. Let go of your expectations as to how your dreams are going to come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. 
take control of your thoughts, trust in your divine purpose. For at some point, as you put your creative energy into action, you're going to recognize that your prayers have been answered. All is transpiring in perfect timing. And at some point, spirit saying, say yes. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the spring special which is a 15-minute one-month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.